Podcast. Hey everybody, it's Benny One, and I'm back at you with another Star Trek movie review, everybody. And today we're reviewing Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, everybody. The 1989 Star Trek movie that was directed by William Shatner, everybody. That's right. So after Leonard Nimoy directed 3 and 4, it's William's time, everybody. That's right. And this is not for a lot... A lot of people, this is um, the worst Star Trek movie. I mean, it might not be the worst for a lot of people, but it's pretty down far. Um, which I can understand. I can totally understand. Because the technically, there's a lot wrong with this movie. Um, the story, uh, the plot, everything about that. Um, the, sh the way that it, shit was shot. I think the special effects don't look quite as good in this movie also. Um, you can tell that Shatner is not a as a professional or uh, refined director that Leonard Nimoy is. Um, I think it's cool that they gave him a shot to direct this movie. Um, but you can tell that he's just he doesn't quite have the acting chops that Nimoy has. Because um, it does show... Um, it's, I found it interesting that Gene Roddenberry and Shatner actually wrote this movie together. thought that was kind of cool. So, um, that Gene Roddenberry was re involved, really involved with this movie. But unfortunately, the movie didn't quite turn out to be the best. So, the whole premise of this movie is, is Spock has a brother, um, Cybok, which go, kind of goes against, uh, continuity with shit that has already been established. Which is kind of the thing with the story and the plot. There's things introduced in this movie that's just kind of like, what? Wait, 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 what's going on? Spock has a freaking brother. It's a half brother, but so yeah, Cybok. And he is hell bent on this mission to find Shakari or God, basically. It's basically the thing that created everyone and anything. You know, all the alien races, you know, they say that. He's referred to many things, and for the Vulcans, it's Shakari, for, you know, Shatner, and the human people, it's all, it's God. So this movie literally is solely about them finding God, and I know, it's kind of quirky and a silly plot line, um, but yeah, so the thing for me that I really enjoy about this movie is, is the, the crew of the Enterprise, because... In these OG Star Trek movies, I think basically from the second movie all the way until the sixth one, they're like the best part of most of these movies. And by this movie, they're, they have been working together for 20 years or more, and they just, you can tell the banter that they have with each other, their relationships, the way they talk to each other. I mean, the movie opens up with freaking Kirk climbing a rock wall and Bones is down on the ground watching him freaking out saying he's a goddamn idiot he's like we're on shore leave and I'm stressing out and he's like freaking out he's like I'm talking to myself <laughs> and then Spock flies up in his freaking astro boot things and he's talking to freaking Kirk while he's trying to climb this goddamn wall and he falls Spock saves him and then we get this cool quirky crazy scene of the three of them around a campfire singing row 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 your boat they're trying to get spock to sing row 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 your boat <laughs> I just, and spock starts he's like he wants to roast a a, a mallow <laughs> a marshmallow <laughs> like that's the shit i love about this movie is the the damn enterprise crew and their interactions with each other like I love it. Scotty is great in this movie. There's a scene where he bonks his head on a beam down in the the lower parts of the ship. It, it's just, it's silly. The story in this movie is just, it's not that good. Technical aspects of the movie, it's, it's not one of the better Star Trek movies, unfortunately. And by the time you get to the end of this movie, when they actually find this supposed Shakari or God or whatever, they go beyond this like the end of the universe barrier wall or whatever where no one's ever gone before and i just think that whole sequence with this fake god blue faced 
cloud looking thing with the person in it. I just, I don't know. I didn't really like it. I didn't really buy into it. Um, the whole introduction of uh, Cybok was very weird to me. Um, but yeah, so like I said, my favorite part of this movie was the crew and the cast of our main set of Enterprise crew members. I, they're, they're always the best part of the movie. They really are. So I don't have too much more to say about The Final Frontier. It's most definitely one of my least favorite uh, Star Trek movies. So I'm going to give The Final Frontier a 6 out of 10, everybody. I don't think it's a garbage movie, but it is most definitely one of the weaker movies. So a 6 out of 10 for Star Trek V, The Final Frontier, everybody. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll be catching you on the tube later because I have spoken.